Hey guys, hello and welcome to episode 43 of Super Mario Galaxy Let's Play. In this episode, I'm hoping to take on three stars, this purple comet, two short other galaxies, and then if we can succeed in that, last episode will be our last star in the game. Right off purple coins. Get them while they're hot. This is going to need to be done very quickly. But what else is new? We're always rushing around. Because I have a stupid time limit on my YouTube channel. Watch, by the time that I actually upload this, this limit's going to be voided, and I'm going to be like, oh crap. Not even gonna exist anymore. Preparing for it for no reason. Damn it. Because I would definitely love to make just 20 minute long episodes instead of 15. Then I could that'd be a lot that'd be a lot more enjoyable in my opinion. You know. It is how it is. It is how it is. Ah, I didn't mean to get that coin. That coin I can use later after I get hit for some stupid reason, which I will. Just wait for it, I will. Okay. Purple coins, purple coins. Collect a hundred purple coins in the nearest path. Hundred purple coins to collect. So many purple coins. Yay, that was painful. Mario lit his ass on fire again. Damn it, Mario. Told you not to play with the fire. And this is a search-ish purple coin mission, and it's also kinda a challenging one. It's not as it's not a bad one. Not a, a really, a really annoying mission like some of the others. It's got enough challenge to it. Grab that. Let's take ourselves into the volcano. Back out of the volcano. Purple coins. Purple coins. Regular coins. Regular coins. More purple coins. Oh, I just found lava. And almost killed myself right there. That would have been bad. Especially since I have 95 coins now. Losing, oh, or I had 93 coins at that point. Losing those coins would have been very upsetting. This is gonna guide well. Don't worry. What could possibly go wrong? Nothing, exactly. Mm-hmm. And 
there we go. 100 purple coins collected. And we got a power star. And that's it for the last six star galaxy with two stars left in two separate galaxies. And at this point, every mission in the game is accessible. You will, let's take out this last question mark box galaxy called the Matter Splatter Galaxy. And that star is... Watch your step! And this level's pretty cool. The water literally makes the level appear. Without it there, well, the level doesn't exist, and you will die. This level doesn't even exist. Spotlights, water droplets... This level doesn't exist until it's done. I want them to follow. And then it slowly fades away until it's touched again. Wall jumping up. Come on, make it. Make it. Yes, I made it. Speedrun tactics are paying off. Platformer where the platforms disappear. That makes platforming that much more epic. Eh, the word epic's overused. I shouldn't be saying that. And then there's a crap load of star bits, so even if I didn't have enough star bits going into this level, I would definitely have enough going out. The yeah, star bit collection in the beginning of the game is kind of unnecessary. I would... I'll, I'll give you that. But it definitely... I'd definitely rather go a little crazy in the beginning of the game than have to worry about collecting star bits at the end of the game when all I want to do is just focus on my missions. I want to get these missions done, and I want to get them done. I don't want to worry about star bits. Star bits I don't need to deal with right now. Or I shouldn't have. You know... And Spring Mario has really awful controls. So, not dying. More difficult than usual. More star bits, because we have a long way to wait till the next platform appears. Wahoo! I hate Spring Mario. Now this part, you sh it's a little risky to do this, but I do it all the time anyway, because I'm impatient. <clears throat> and this is the final set of this stage, final area of the stage. Just gotta follow the path as it's formed. Fairly simple, really easy, and Follow the path. Ain't that hard. You can do it. Just make sure you pick the right path. All the paths are more or less continuous. So it's not that big of a issue. You're gonna need to kill more. Because otherwise they will shoot fire at you for the entire rest of the level, and that will be really annoying. I don't like having fire shot at me. I'd imagine Mario doesn't either. This part, it's easiest, in my opinion, to take the leftmost fork. Matter of choice. All the forks you can just as easily... Well, maybe not just as easily, but you can... You can get there with all the forks. Leftmost path is a path. And then throw this uh, magic Koopa here with, just for a little extra annoyance before you get your star. And there it is. Power star gotten. And we got one star left.
Galaxy complete. <clears throat> one star, one galaxy left. And that is the final Hungry Luma Galaxy of the game. This will be right outside the garden, of course. Yeah, I guess. Here's your last meal. Now we feed you 1600 star bits and it takes forever because you're so frickin' fat. Transform! Snowcap Galaxy has appeared. And we fly to our final galaxy of the game before we reconquer Bowser's Galaxy yet. Star Bunnies in the Snow. In the most distant galaxy in the game, because it took us the longest to unlock. Yes. Oh no, a chest. How do we open it? Just run under the planet. There's a shell. Yeah, I hope so. Now you just catch these stupid bunnies. Very easy. And you can use the star pointer to clear snow. But the trick is, you're gonna need to find all these... that things. All those push-button things and step on them. So that makes it way, way easier. There's one of them, but we're not going to chase him yet. There it is, and all the these two compartments open, which the rabbits are unable to jump out of. So, the trick is, of course, chase them in there, and then they're confined in a small space and they can't escape. And yeah, I'm fast, but guess what? You're, you suck. You're not this. Then you need that shell and that rabbit. Shell you need for this purpose. He will more or less almost immediately jump into here, making him an idiot. That's very easy to catch. <clears throat> oh, well, you better believe it. Oh, they're already running. Don't worry. I'll get them next. Oh, delivered to me on a silver planner. Fide Bunny! There it is. In less than half the time, all the rabbits are caught, and we have the 120th Power Star. <clears throat> 120 Power Stars. Down. Zero to go. And now we will reconquer Bowser's Galaxy Reactor. But that will have to wait for the next episode. Catch you guys back here. Don't go anywhere.